All right, so today we learned about absolute value, and we learned about these absolute value brackets, and whatever's inside it becomes positive, because we're just talking about how far away it is from zero. Um, so if it's negative, it turns to positive. If it's positive, it remains positive. And when you have it within an equation here, it's the answer that's positive, not one thing or the other, but together, whatever your answer is, changes to positive. So looking at this, you could probably do this in your head. What minus 9 equals 12? Well, you probably um, came up with 21. 21 minus 9 equals 12. Well, we can also have a negative number in here. What negative number minus 9 would equal negative 12? So if I put a negative 3 in here, we have negative 3 minus 9 is negative 12, but then the absolute value changes it to positive 12. So because we can put a positive and negative number in here, we're going to have two answers when we solve um, these absolute value inequalities. So just looking at this one to solve it, even though I sort of told you what the answer is, um, we're going to take it and we are going to write it without its absolute value mark. So we're going to change this to um, 12 minus 9 equals 12. And then we also want to find what that negative x is. So we're going to take that x minus 9 and we're going to make our 12 now a negative 12 because we want to know what can I plug in to equal negative 12. And then when I reapply the absolute value brackets, it'll turn it back to positive. So this is very simple. Opposite of minus 9 is plus 9. We want to get x by itself, so I have to make this equal to 0. And what I do to the left side of the equals, I must do to the right. So when I add 9 here, that will give me x is 21. And we should go back and check. Is 21 minus 9 12? And the answer would be yes. So now we're going to go ahead and do the negative part of it. Again, it's still plus 9. Negative 9, positive 9, 0, or minus and plus. And again, we'll do it here. But now we have negative 12 minus 9. And that would give me an answer of negative 3. So just to prove to you that this works, if we were to plug negative 3 in here for x, we would have um, the absolute value x is negative 3 minus 9 is equivalent to 12. So negative 3 minus 9, that equals negative 12. And you guys like to change it, change it. Um, the absolute value of negative 12 is 12. And then you got to take the absolute value of negative 12, which is 12. So 12 does equal 12. And I can do the same thing over here. Um, I uh, take 21 and minus 9 in the absolute value brackets, and that equals 12. And 21 minus 9 is 12, so we have the absolute value of 12 equals 12. And again, absolute value of 12 is 12. Everything becomes positive. A lot of people want to flip it from one to the other, but it isn't. And whatever's inside is positive. So now we're going to look at this one, and we kind of had a sample of like this earlier in class. Um, always look at your questions first before you start solving them, because this says the absolute value of 3x plus 7 equals negative 8. And your first inclination might be just to solve it, but you have to remember what does absolute value mean. It means whatever the answer is in here is going to change to positive. And so is it ever going to be all equal negative 8 if this always makes it positive? The answer is no. So this is a... Um, this is a uh, no solution problem. And then we go down to this question right here. We This time, with just the x has the absolute value. So again, there's going to be two answers I can put in here. What plus 16 is 32? And what negative number plus 16 will equal 32? Because that negative will go to a positive. So again, we're just going to rewrite it out. We have um, x plus 16 equals 32. We just drop the absolute value brackets and solve. So opposite of positive 16 is negative 16, and that's 0. And we subtract 16 here. And if you do a little cross-canceling, that becomes 2, and that becomes 12. So that becomes 16. And that is true. If I plug in 16 here, the absolute value of 16 is 16. 16 plus 16 is 32. Now you could go ahead and do the math, but you might be able to figure this out without it. Because... Um, this is still going to be 16, but it's just going to be the negative of this. Um, so I could go through and make that negative 32 and then um, do the math on that. Um, but if you think about it, 
um, if I have the absolute value of negative 16 um, plus 16, that equals 32. So um, absolute value of 16 is 16. And we just proved that 16 plus 16 is 32. So when we have just the x isolated alone with the absolute value brackets, my two values for x is I can plug in positive 16 and get 32, and then I can also plug in negative 16 and get 32. And um, that's pretty much it. We're going to get a little complicate, more complicated problems tomorrow. But what I really want you to remember is um, when we have this, we have to take um, it solved with the positive 12 here, and then we want to solve it with the negative 12 to get the two answers. So again here, x should be uh, 21 and negative 3. They both work. They both give me 12. Here, anytime there's a negative there, it's impossible to have absolute value brackets equal a negative number, unless the, abs the negative's outside of here, which it's not. So again, that's a um, no solution. And then here we had the absolute values around just the x. As soon as I solve for x here, I can put in the negative um, there. And then the negative, again, becomes positive because it's the absolute value. And again, we get 32. So these ones are quite easy also. So um, hopefully you come into class and um, be ready to go tomorrow.